Hello YouTube, I'm Andrew Does Hair. You can find my work on Instagram at Andrew Does Hair. As you can tell, I'm not sitting in my typical YouTube environment here. I'm sitting in my salon between clients right now. And I had a thought pop into my head that I've been sort of just thinking too much about. And since I have a little bit of downtime right now, I figured I'd slap together a quick YouTube video. Now this thought is something that kind of branched off of a statement that I'm stealing from somebody. Anthony the Barber 916 on Instagram. He said at one barber event we went to, I heard him say, hey, when you're doing a consultation, look at your client's shoes. It'll tell you a lot about them. And when he said it, I was like, yeah, that's true. Like subconsciously all along I'd been doing that. But the more I think about it, I'm like, that actually is a really helpful piece of advice, both for professionals and for just people who don't know what to do with their hair. And so I just wanted to sort of think out loud about this and just have a general kind of musing about the concept of looking at your footwear and letting it help you to understand your relationship with your hair. You see, I've got this belief that everybody's hair says something about them, whether they intend it to or not. And I kind of think of my job not as putting hair on the ground or doing the cleanest haircut in the world, but as making sure that this something that the hair is saying is something accurate or something truthful about the person wearing it. Something that just makes them feel more like them. And when it comes to any purchasing decision that we make, we have these like subconscious kind of narratives running through our heads. Like there's a reason that you might wear a Yeezy, but you would never wear a Red Wing or vice versa. And I think kind of paying attention to that about yourself and about your clients can help you drastically to sort of figure out what might work for your hair. See, over the years, I've been getting messages and comments on, on Instagram. Well, what about my hair? And I, I, I'll actually get like, strangers will message me like selfies on Instagram, like in the bathroom and say, what should I do with my hair? And I'm like, dude, I don't know anything about you. And truth be told, if we're sitting in person, I'm looking at your shoes and it's telling me a lot about you. So let me just think out loud about this. When I was earlier on in my career doing like $20, $25 haircuts, at that price point, I was getting a lot of walk-ins, a lot of people who just needed some kind of haircut. They didn't care who did it or ultimately how it looked in the end. They just needed a haircut. And it wasn't a part of their personal style. It wasn't of high importance to them. They just needed their hair to be shorter and they needed it done quick because they're on a lunch break and they gotta get their car washed after this or whatever, or they're running errands. And back then, like thinking about it, like my average client just had normal shoes that you would never think twice about, like something that they just bought because it was on sale and it worked. And as I've gotten into higher price points with haircuts, what I find these days is most of my clients come in wearing shoes that I want to comment on. And not even because of this whole thing I'm talking about, but I'll just see a pair of boots and I'm like, dude, those are rad. What the heck are those? And these days, if I ask somebody what's up with those shoes, what are those? I get like a story. It's like, oh man, it's this company in Oregon. They hand make boots. They're like heirloom quality. They're semi-custom. I had to wait six weeks to get these because the tongue's a different material than what came stock and I wanted custom. And I, it's absolutely freaking true that if you're very particular about what you put on your feet, you tend to be a little more particular about what you do with your hair. Now, in another sense, there are people who, like myself, I'm the type, I want to buy a pair of like handmade high quality boots that are comfortable and aren't such a statement that I just can't wear them with everything. I want to be able to wear, put on my, my tried and trusted true boots that just lasted forever. I want to wear them with everything. I want to match everything. And I, I want to buy a pair of boots once every five or 10 years and just have them last forever and, and resole them. And to me, a pair of boots like that, like today I'm wearing Red Wing Iron Rangers. Uh, when I buy a pair of boots like this, I want them to fall apart. I want them to show signs of age and wear because that kind of makes it look even cooler. Uh, but I don't want to be buying new boots once a year. I want to buy new boots once every several years and I'm happy to get them resold to go visit the cobbler and have them tuned up and, and conditioned and polished and whatever else. And I, and I like that life cycle of a pair of shoes to where you could give me a pair of like mall fashion boots that look a lot like Red Wings I wouldn't wear them if they were free, as long as I had my Red Wings that are all beat up and old, you know, as an option. And so in, on that note, like, because I like my shoes to treat me that way, and I like to treat my shoes that way, my hair is very similar. I don't want to get haircuts every two weeks. That's why I don't ever have fades, because if you have a fade, you have to cut it so frequently to keep it looking nice. I always keep my hair a little on the longer side, a little on the messy side, because I want to sit down and get a really good haircut once a quarter, and then, I don't want to worry about it for day to day to try to put it together just right. I like hair that I can go like this, 
and then as it grows out, it still kind of does the same thing for the next two or three inches as it grows out until one day it can't hold the volume anymore and I have to go get it cut again. And so my, my relationship with my shoes is very similar to my relationship with my hair. Now on the flip side, if I get a client who comes in wearing like brand new, fresh, crispy Yeezys or something, that guy's not gonna want this haircut. He's gonna want a clean, fresh, tight fade and it's, he's not just gonna want any old fade because you know Yeezys aren't just any old sneakers. And, Actually, come to think of it, as I'm mentioning Yeezys, I know Kanye is kind of a hot button topic right now. I don't even know if I should mention that shoe. But uh, anyways, when somebody has really fresh, crispy sneakers that are like hard to get, they're limited or rare, they're going to want a haircut that's super fresh and clean and crisp as well. And not just any old cr fresh, clean, crisp haircut. They're going to want something a little bit more premium than the average fresh, crisp, clean haircut. You get these shoes sometimes you'll see that are like sneakers, but they're really futuristic looking. They look like space alien sneakers. That person is gonna want a haircut that looks like some space alien haircut. They're, they're gonna be more open to like, I want a weird fringe here and I want a piece flipping out here, but I want everything real detailed and crispy. You see these very like over the top, super detailed, precise, edgy haircuts. And that absolutely goes right in line with these like alien sneakers that, that look like they're from another planet, right? And so with all this said, if you're ever confused about like, what should I do with my hair? Just look at your feet. How do you like to treat your shoes? Are you buying new shoes frequently? You probably wanna get haircuts frequently. Are you letting a pair of shoes kind of fall apart and age and you don't wanna worry about them from day to day, but every now and then you're happy, you, you actually look forward to polishing them and keep taking care of them, but you want them to last a very long time you know, for a special occasion, you'll polish them, then you might want a haircut that you don't have to cut it very often, but if there's a wedding, you're, you wanna be able to style it, but for day to day, you don't wanna fuss about it. And these tips, if you're a consumer, can, can really help guide you toward picking a hairstyle that'll work for you, like personally, as a person, I'm talking like, like not just stylistically, but like lifestyle-istically. Um, and if you're a, a hairdresser or a barber, like this can help you a lot when you're doing your consultations. If a client comes in and they're wearing beat up old boots and they go, I want the freshest, crispest, cleanest fade. You're like, I don't really know if that's suitable to your style. What if, what if we skip the lineup and we leave it a little more organic so that it can fall apart gracefully as it grows back. And I'll even actually point out to some clients when I'm, when I'm trying to lean them more toward this type of hairstyle, like, hey, you know when you buy a really good solid leather wallet or belt and it looks better after it's like been beaten up for five years, let's give you a haircut that'll do that. And like across the board, my clients are like, whoa, I didn't even know a haircut could do that. So keep this stuff in mind and just think about it. Like I've been thinking about it too much today. And I hope that this sort of correlation here, the shoes, the footwear to the hair and the relationship that they have together, I hope that it's just giving you something to think about and maybe a new perspective about your hair or your client's hair. Thanks for watching.